Hi, I'm Rebecca. I'm the Education Coordinator for Be Thinking, and today I'm going to talk to you about what a Langstroth hive is. Essentially, a Langstroth hive is stacking rectangular boxes filled with frames that the bees build all of the comb that they use to store honey and brood in. These hives were invented by Lorenzo Langstroth in 1852. These are the most common hives used in America today. We've made a few changes to the original design. The most common version of a Langstroth box you'll see will be a traditional finger joint, but we have new precision milling technology that allowed us to create the comb joint. The comb joint on Langstroth boxes is a little bit more forgiving with weather uh, and it leaves less end grain exposed, so your boxes are gonna last a little bit longer. The precision milling of these new joints makes it so that the boxes fit together perfectly and assembly is quick and easy. When purchasing your hive, you have a couple of options for wood type. We have our Western Red Cedar Premium. We also offer Sugar Pine. It's important to us that we don't harm the forests while we're helping the bees. So both our Western Red Cedar and Sugar Pine come from FSE certified forests, the gold standard for responsible forest management. Some considerations for Langstroth specifically is that Sugar Pine is a very dense, tight knot, good insulating wood, but it is harder, which will add extra weight to your boxes. To learn more, click here to check out our in-depth video covering the differences between cedar and pine hives. So starting from the top down on the hive, we'll have our telescoping outer cover, which basically means that it's going to sit over all four corners of the hive rather than flush against the top. And the purpose for that is to increase ventilation and humidity control. Next, we have our inner cover. This will sit flush against the four corners of the box, and the bees are going to propolize everything together with a sticky plant resin. So having this is going to be much easier to pry up, and you don't have to worry about having four corners stuck over the edges of boxes. There's a hole in the middle of the inner cover, and that is good for allowing moisture and humidity to escape the hive. Or if you're choosing to feed your bees, uh, you're able to put a feeder right over the top of that inner cover hole. Standard Langstroth boxes come in three depths. You can get shallows, mediums, or deeps. Medium boxes are most commonly used as honey supers, which means you would add one of these shallower medium boxes to the top of your hive that the bees are going to fill with honey completely. Deep boxes are traditionally used as a brood chamber. When full of brood or honey, medium boxes are gonna weigh between 40 to 60 pounds, where a deep box can weigh up to 100 pounds. So if you're not able or willing to lift that much, you may wanna stick with just mediums. Langstroth hives are incredibly customizable, so you can add boxes to the top, called supering, or add boxes to the bottom, called nadiring, to expand the space of your hive, and the bees will continue to build up or down wherever you add the space, so it's up to you. Deep boxes do also come with the option to have a window, so if you're interested in peeking in at your bees without actually opening up the hive, this could be a really great option. As an added benefit, our window panels have a precision milled bee cut out with the wings are actually the handles. It's really aesthetically pleasing. Langstroth boxes are rectangular boxes that have full rectangular frames inside. With a four-sided frame, it provides an added stability to your comb. Ours are foundation lists, which basically means that there is a wedge comb guide at the top that the bees will festoon on and build all of their comb down naturally. When choosing your box sizes, you'll actually get to choose the width of your box as well. So you can choose if it fits eight frames or 10 frames. Langstroth frames are also designed to have appropriate bee space in between when they're flush. Depending on the type of beehive kit you choose to purchase, you will receive either a screen bottom board or a solid bottom board. You can, however, switch out your bottom board types at any time. Screen bottom boards are going to affect ventilation and humidity inside the hive. So if you live somewhere where it's really hot and humid, this might be a good option for you. Comes with a Corex insert, so you can put it in or remove it to adjust the ventilation and the humidity inside the hive at different times of the season. If you live somewhere a little bit cooler, I might choose to go with a solid bottom board. In a Langstroth hive, the entrance is gonna be at the bottom or at the base, where basically there's a gap in between the bottom box and the bottom board. Some advantages to using a Langstroth hive are that it's the most common hive design, which means it's easiest to find local community, a mentor, and most resources are tailored directly to this hive style. 
All Langstroth equipment is built to an industry standard, which allows for mix and match from other suppliers and accessorizing to your needs. There are also many accessories and modulated upgrades available for established hives. Full frames provide comb stability, and bees don't attach comb to the side walls of the hive body. Some of the disadvantages of using a Langstroth hive is that you do have to lift heavy boxes. It uses three quarter inch wood, which is less insulating, but necessary for us to use to match the industry standard. Rectangular boxes are harder to heat in the winter. There is costly honey harvest if you use foundation. There are also more unpredictable combs with foundationless frames. Assembly is quick and easy. Everything comes with pre-drilled holes and all of the hardware that you need. Simply mate the comb joints together at the edges and drill in place. Necessary tools for assembly include a drill or a screwdriver and a hammer for assembling frames. Thanks so much for watching. To purchase your Langstroth Hive now, go to bethinking.com. If you liked this video and want to see more like it, please subscribe.